Matt Cohut from Lenovo, and today I wanted to take our customers through a tour of Lenovo Series 3 docking. We introduced Lenovo Series 3 docking in order to take advantage of the newest and greatest technologies that our customers were asking for. Older generation docks could, with the right setup, go up to four displays, but now with the newest systems, we have the capability of doing dual digital displays out, and I'll show you an option in just a minute to allow you to get up to six uh, displays out of your system. More than anything else, these were focused in, uh, on usability. Usability meaning things like rip and go docking. So rip and go docking means that after I place a system into the port replicator, I want to be able to just push a button and rip and go. So Lily, I just push the eject button and take it away. Older designs required users to, before they actually remove the system, push a button wait for Windows to go through its eject mechanism timeout, and then after the dock gave you permission, you could remove the system from the dock. We also wanted to address us usability. So you'll see that we do have our corner alignment, and whether you have a system with uh, a integrated six cell battery or nine cell or other extended batteries, you see that it locks into place so that as we have a system that lines up the corner, it very easily and securely locks into place. Now that I've got all three in front of us, let's look at the differences in ports between them. First up is the port replicator on top. Basic port replication needs including power, Ethernet, 4 USB 2.0, as well as a VGA port. Moving on to the mini dock, we've got power, uh, display port, DVI, audio in and out, Ethernet, 6 USB 2.0 ports, and also a VGA port. Now the Mini Dock Plus is all about adding additional video functionality to the system. So going across you'll see DisplayPort, DVI, a second DisplayPort, DVI, you'll see Ethernet, 6 USB 2.0, Power, VGA, eSATA, which is right there, and since we needed to make room for it, the audio ports are on the side of the system. The Mini Dock and the Mini Dock Plus both have support for integrated key locks. And if you wanted to secure the Mini Dock or the Mini Dock Plus to the table or to your desk, there are the slots for the Kensington locks. Now, on the port replicator, we still wanted support to be able to lock your system in, but one of the differentiators that we are able to remove to reduce cost is it does not have the built-in key lock. So instead, when you put the Kensington lock on this system, this ring actually moves forward which prevents the button itself from activating, securing your system to the desk. Other things to notice as you look at the back of these, you'll see the vent holes. These are designed so that if you are using a system, we want to make sure that it does get maximum performance so that as the air exits from the system, it has some place to go. Overall, a quieter system and a cooler system is more reliable. Though it does appear that something like the Mini Dock Plus may be able to drive four or five displays out of the box, with all of its different ports built in, in actuality this is not the case. There are plenty of times when you would want support for more than dual displays out of your system. And for that, Lenovo does have another option. We recently introduced a USB to uh, DVI external d display device. Now with these mini docks, we do have the capability to plug this in, and it is plug and play capability and you can plug up to the number of devices you have on the back of the mini dock. We can have up to six uh, external displays in the back of the system. Now I did try this out. Video playback is pretty good. So there's actually a bridge chip built into the back of this that does allow the passing of high definition video uh, it, as long as it's not uh, high HDCP enabled. So for customers that need more than dual displays, this might be a very good option.